same exact it's like what is it three minutes later i thought they they did click i ain't gonna lie they did for show sure clickbait me but i found the original so we just gonna watch this i'm gonna i don't know where it's gonna go this might be the next one. i don't know bear with me but they did click at me i mean click kidnap clickbait me uh he got arrested 28 years later y'all this this the one i just dropped last the one i dropped last it's like a little two two minutes three minutes something like that 28 years later they got him 28 years later now imagine you just dropped everything you know what i'm saying you stopped doing whatever stuff you was doing you became a new person better man better this taking care of your family like in that video he was saying he taking care of his whole family 80 year old aunt his uncle that's in the ICU, his 13 year old, his 60 year old cousin, he taking care of his family. He's the man of the household right now. He getting everything done for his family, right? But 28 years ago, 28 years ago, five minute altercation caused you, like, you know what I'm saying, to be wanted, I guess, you know what I'm saying, to be wanted. And he was wanted for 28, how do you feel? Nigga wanted for 20, so nigga ain't worked at all. He ain't worked. Y'all, they ain't looked for him. That's what that, they ain't looked for him. Said if I was him, I would've thought that shit was over with. Like free, not a free body, but, cause I don't know the situation, but free, just free. Like it was what it was. I paid my dues, I, you know what I'm saying? But let's get into it. I was like, I, me personally, 28 years, I would've thought that was over with, bro. Cause I think in that video, he probably was like, I mean, when he did, he probably was like 18. So he, had kid his son is 13 so you know he like come on now why is it making me screenshot bro come on stop playing these games all right let's get it that's 28 years in the making tonight the family of Jeff it's the news you know says they're hopeful that justice will finally be served he was shot to death at the oakland city transit station in southwest atlanta way back in 1994 19 that's why george franco reports now the murder suspect is they gon' i ain't gonna lie I'm going to pause as many times as I want. Bro. This is my, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to lie. 1994. It was easy to get. It probably was easy to get away with stuff because I ain't got the type of technology and all that. But it came back to hunt him. Literally. Literally came back to hunt him 28 years later. Jail tonight after his arrest in Oconee County. It was November 27th, 1994, around 2.30 in the afternoon, when 18-year-old Stafford Tucker... He, I just guessed when he was 18. ...shot in the face after getting off a train... Oh, the, the, the victim was 18. ...at the Oakland City Transit Station. 28 years later, the suspect is behind bars after a random registration check in Okoti County. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to place you in the custody today, okay? So all of this was random? Imagine you was living good 28 years. I'm talking about working, good job, making good money. And they randomly come check, like, just random. Like, you didn't do nothing. Just randomly. Because I don't even think he was driving. I think his car was bagged in. Go watch the uh, the last one. I think his car was bagged in. I, think his, I believe his car was bagged in. And they just, they got him. They said his license was suspended. He was driving with no insurance. When I really don't believe he was driving. That's what made me. The afternoon in Oconee County, a man with a suspended South Carolina driver's license, suspended registration, and no insurance is arrested uh, during a random registration. That ain't one he's supposed to drive at all. The suspended license, suspended registration. I ain't your registration could be, your registration could be suspended. No insurance. That car don't even supposed to be turned on, really. East you can't even sit in that bitch. The man's ID says he is race second. He says he's headed to a hospital. I have children, I have a sick uncle, and I run the household. But investigators say a fingerprint check at the jail identified Sekum. That's when it did it. The fingerprint at the jail did it. It's a good one. Bilal Amin wanted for the fatal So he wasn't the even the person. So he had a fake ID and everything. Oh, he had the whole. So that's who he been living as a fake person this whole time. This whole time he been a whole nother person. 
Jafford Tucker, Tucker's uncle who now lives in Portland, Oregon, says he promised his sister, Jafford's mother, who died a few years ago, that justice would be served. My family needs justice and closure. This is the best closure that my family can have. My sister's here today. She'll be soaking in tears. Thank you for watching this video. El Amin, who had a nationwide FBI bulletin on him for years, is now at the Fulton County Jail charged with murder. Oconee County deputies Devin Blair and Lex Ogan, who arrested El Amin. So, in that video, it didn't say, like, it didn't show none of that. It just went straight to, it just went straight to when he was, uh, it just stopped, you know what I'm saying, when he was still in the cop. But when he got to the jail, that's when they realized, uh-uh, you not. I don't know the name. You, my, I don't know your other name either. You, you, this who you is. Your fingerprints. You in the system. You in that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. You in that bitch. You in that bitch. That's probably why he was so hesitant. He didn't want to go to jail because he knew if they had to fingerprint him and do all that, it was over with. It's up. Instrumental in helping Jafford Tucker's family find a path toward justice. The good Lord looks after all of us and uh, in the best ways he sees fit and. If the paper's been out there for that long, sooner or later, you know, law enforcement's going to continue to to look until we find people. I know that eventually... It's left your biggest I put it in my heart that I've been giving him, but I can't make it. Uh, Jafford Tucker's uncle says he will return to Atlanta from Portland to attend the trial of El Amin. Yeah, in southwest Atlanta. I'm to he got to literally relive that 28... But the whole family got to relive it. Not just him, but as the suspect, he got to relive that. Because he's been living free for 28 years. He don't been able to get all the iPhones all like. He don't been able to do all. I wouldn't, bro, I ain't going to lie. If I get, if something happened, if I say I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I be put up making my money. But if something was happening right now today, and, and what's this 2024, and then 2056, some. Man, they come find me to do something, bro. You leave me alone. That shit was so long ago. But, you know what I'm saying? A life. This was a life that was taken. A life that was taken. A family that cried. Mothers that, you know what I'm saying? This is like, you can't really get away with that. But, I just want to, you know what I'm saying? I did a lot of talking on this one, but I, I'm going I'm to do a couple of these. It's like the backup for the backup. You know what I'm saying? But, hope y'all enjoy. This going to be like a short one. I don't really, I talk for longer than the video was, but hope y'all enjoyed them. Catch y'all next one. I'm it for the day. Uh, and peace out, bro.